All right, y'all, first things first, make sure you watch this video from beginning to end so that you don't miss a single detail. Here we are back with another action figure news video. This time it's going to be a little bit shorter than most. I don't have a whole lot of things to cover. One of the things I decided to discuss is usually outside the realm of what I do, but it looks so good that I absolutely had to talk about it. I'm sure you guys looked at the thumbnail and you probably already know what it is, but in case you don't, we're going to go ahead and get right into it. Now, you guys know how these videos work. Make sure you drop a like for your boy as I would greatly appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already or you're new here and let's get right into it. Now, starting things off with a bit of Tonson art news. Here we have an update on a Trunks figure that they have been working on. Now, I've been seeing this all over my feed for quite some time, but since I stopped collecting the Dragon Ball line, it wasn't one that I really planned planned on talking about but now that they're getting closer to the actual release of the figure and i see exactly what it's going to all be about I'm kind of interested, man. I'm not going to lie. I know plenty of people were disappointed with the SH Figure Arts release. For one, it had plenty of loose joints, and then some people just didn't like some of the design choices that they went with. But when it comes to this, now we have trunks without the jacket, so there's not going to be any issues whatsoever. Um, and Thompson Art, I think this is actually going to be the first time that they put out a full-blown figure. They usually do accessory kits. We also know that they worked on on a, are currently working on a Kid Boo as well, which seems like it's going to be releasing pretty soon also, but um, I'm not going to lie, man. This Trunks has really caught my attention, man. I am loving this. Now, from the looks of it, there are going to be two different versions, which was something I didn't know at first. Uh, each of them going to come with slightly different accessories, and they also did the same thing with the Kid Boo, which I actually made a video on quite some time ago, but they're really doing this kind of smart man instead of making one figure that just comes with a whole bunch of accessories and pricing it at something different they're making two different figures uh which share essentially the same body but you gotta buy two man and i really don't like that they're doing that i would much rather just pay i don't know 70 80 bucks for one figure that comes with a ton of accessories rather than buying two of them but i mean business moves even if it is a third party company they're doing what they got to do uh, as of right now you guys see the two different packaging at the uh, two different packagings at the bottom of the screen i'm really loving this slash effect that he comes with uh it looks like he's gonna pose well man but if they're going to re release two of these, then they better come with it, yo. These figures have to be good. They're probably using the lower half from Tamashi Nations. The upper half, I'm assuming, is going to be an all-new sculpt. I love that they included Trunks' watch and everything. But, uh, yeah, this is one I am definitely planning on picking up and reviewing for you guys. Make sure, if you haven't already, you go and get your pre-order on this. Because once it releases, I can guarantee it's going to sell out. For the time being, check Omnime Store and check 5K Toys those are probably the only two places that are going to be carrying this next on the list here we have another announcement from revel tech and i'm just going to be honest with you guys already just looking at this i feel like it is a genius release now they listed it as a deathstroke reissue and i think the only reason they're saying that is because it looks like it's the same exact figure as the first release but as you can see he comes with some different accessories now the guns i think he came with in the regular version but these new swords have completely caught me off guard that and even the faceplate with the flaming eye uh, i don't know if this derives from some new version of deathstroke that comes from the comics or something like that i have no idea but i'm not gonna lie this thing looks really good the original figure was super dope so i already know this one's going Going to be fine it's probably going to have even better joints and uh pose a bit more fluidly now i'm guessing the face with the flaming eye is probably going to be some uh kyoto revel tech website exclusive because again they've been doing that with all of their releases it's quite annoying it's probably going to make the figure cost about 15 20 dollars more for just one different head sculpt i don't like that at all i've said that multiple times but it is what it is uh now 
I don't know if I'm going to pick this one up or not, but I know this is one that was highly sought after for quite some time, and it's probably going to be the best uh, six-inch Deathstroke figure that we get for a while, unless you're okay with the Mezco, but that thing's basically a statue. So if you do like this character and you want to pose him alongside some of your, I don't know, Teen Titans figures, then I would definitely recommend picking this one up. And uh, it's just... It just caught me that Revel Tech figures have been selling out like crazy. I don't know how I'm just now noticing this, but a lot of Revel Tech figures have been selling out. So this is another one I'm going to say, make sure that you do pre-order because a lot of these things after they release, you can't get your hands on them. And as of right now, he's not up for pre-order, but once he goes up, I will be giving you guys that information. Switching things over to some SH Figure Arts or Tamashi Nation's news, they did just announce the next figure in the SH Figure Arts Tekken line. And if you watched my Jin Kazama review, it's funny, but I actually predicted this. Now, I did say I thought the third release was going to be his grandfather, but right after that, I did say it wouldn't surprise me if they made Nina Williams as the first female release. And here it is. <laughs> I legit predicted this, you guys, and it makes me happy to see that I know what I'm talking about sometimes. But um, yeah, this is one... I don't know. I don't really care for this costume on her. Uh, I still prefer the classic look, and I know most people probably do. Uh, I just would rather that. Like, that's the Tekken that I'm used to seeing. I never played Tekken 8, so I'm not going to have any kind of familiarity with this costume here. But I'll probably pick it up. I mean, as long as it looks like it poses well, I'm fine with it. Uh, but I do want to know, what do you guys think about this release? And if you are collecting the Tekken line, uh, what character do you think they should have released next? Next. I'm okay with this. As I said, it's exactly what I predicted, uh, but I would have preferred Anna, man, but I know she's not in the game. I love Anna, though. <laughs> uh, or, or Lily. I just like the female characters more. I said that already, but <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, once we get more details on this, I will be bringing it to you guys, but for now, here we have it. Nina Williams, the next figure in the Tekken line. And last but certainly not least, the reason that most of you guys probably clicked on this video, Metacom Toy has announced that they are going to be releasing the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. Now, we all knew this was coming, but I wasn't expecting it to be announced so soon after Tom Holland, but that's okay with me because that means it's probably already in production. And since we got this promo image right here, more than likely we're going to be seeing promo images later on. This is just the teaser, but as we can see, he is going to come with an unmasked head so far. Uh, now, Tamashi Nations did show an Andrew Garfield head and eventually it got canceled. I hope that doesn't happen with Metacom Toy, uh, but I'm assuming it probably had something to do with licensing because I believe the Andrew Garfield that they released was announced as a uh, Spider-Man No Way Home. I'll have to go back and look at my SH Figuarts, but as you can see in the top here, this is actually showcased as a The Amazing Spider-Man 2 Spider-Man figure. And if you remember back in the day, they did make an Amazing Spider-Man 2 figure. It wasn't the best, but it did come with an unmasked Andrew Garfield head. So I'm thinking that's the reason we didn't get it with the SHF. Uh, it has to do something with licensing, which is weird. And of course, I have no understanding of that whatsoever. But if they got to announce it as Amazing Spider-Man 2, then hey, it is what it is. I am perfectly fine with that, man. This thing looks good so far. I'm truly expecting this figure to turn out as a masterpiece. Hopefully they don't mess up, make any kind of weird uh, decisions when it comes to engineering the figure and as long as they don't do that it's going to come out great proportions and everything look good so far and uh i just can't wait to have this in my collection man this is obviously the one that most people want more than the others so yeah of course once we get some more news i will be bringing it to you guys and just like that, there we have another action figure news video for the books. Again, not a whole lot to discuss this time around, but there was some things that I did want to bring to you guys' attention so that you are aware they've been announced. Now, I know these action figure news videos have been pretty scarce, but as we approach San Diego Comic-Con, I am fully expecting to be making a 
ton of these videos for you guys because who knows what all is going to be on display and of course you guys know i'm going to talk about it but for the time being i want to know what did we discuss today that you plan on picking up if you plan on getting any of these figures i'm sure most of you are going to say spider-man but how do you guys feel about the trunks figure are you excited for that one and uh the other things the death stroke you guys going to be getting that one just let me know say what you feel in the comments below and for the time being hope that you guys enjoyed this video if so don't forget to give it a thumbs up as that always helps me out subscribe to the channel if you haven't already make sure to hit that bell icon so you're notified whenever i upload these because they are for you guys and then follow me on everything you see listed in the description below to keep up with my activity outside of youtube hope you guys have a great rest of your day stay safe wherever you are and uh bye